This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. You join me in Avonmouth, we're just around the corner from the range. Um, we've got a relatively easy day today, quite an early finish, hopefully, we'll have to see. Uh, tomorrow is uh, when I go to the hospital to see appointment about my eye. Um, so obviously, a few videos ago I told you uh, of like a condition I had in my eye plucked all my eyelashes out or some of them anyway the ones that are causing a lot of the issue and it helped the issue but um obviously we still got that uh, appointment booked at the hospital so might as well see them they might take more eyelashes out make it even better so that's the plan but i am i'm still rubbing my eye but not as much as i used to so um yeah that's that's why we got it. hopefully uh, well, we're off tomorrow for that but today i think i'm gonna have an early finish we've got a relatively easy day Currently in Avermouth, we got a Gleevem Transport uh, trailer on, Curtain Side of the Trailer, 4.8 metres, and it's loaded with what I've been told is uh, overspill container stock. Um, so there's like a load of pallets on there basically with boxes and stuff. So we're going to the range uh, to get it all offloaded, and then we're going to head to Pusey and we're going to get loaded with, uh, with hay, and we're taking that to Northampton RDC. Not sure whether it's Pets at Home or whether it's Morrison's, it'd be one of them. We'll find that out later. But um, yeah, I believe that that's all we have planned for today. There was a rumour, not a rumour, but there was talk of maybe two runs to Northampton. But um, we'll just have to wait and see whether that is the case or not. As So far, I've only been told there's one, and that's booked in half past ten. So we could find that by lunchtime we are done for the day apart from travelling back to the yard. So, here is the range. I've not been here for a while, actually. I've not been here for a few weeks. Obviously, it used to come here a lot. An awful lot. But uh, not for a few weeks. The time is currently 5.24. It's very early morning. Uh, we, well, I woke up at half past three this morning. Left my house got to work for four o'clock i only live around the corner so um yeah i was i was in the yard by 4 a.m left about 10 past quarter past right the range entrance is here i'm gonna turn right i think while we're waiting i will put my high vis on because it's definitely going to be needed. It's uh, four and a half degrees out there, according to my truck. One degree, according to my watch. It's cold. It's on the chilly side. Bloody hell, it's a bit busy here. Right, we... <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of room here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to park up here and... Wait for someone to come over to me. This is going to be fun. Ah, so, as expected, um, yeah, nothing's happening. <laughs> uh, I was told told I'm in the right place and that someone will be with me in 15 minutes. That was uh, 25 minutes ago. So, I've got people walking past me. They know I'm here. It's just taken ages. So, yeah, we're just going to... Just gonna sit tight now and wait even longer. We're actually having a break right now because we're not doing anything, so just gonna continue chilling out on my phone until someone comes over to me. 
Okay, situation recap. We have now left the range. I did do a piece to camera, but it turns out the audio wasn't working. Uh, I realised my microphone wasn't plugged on. Uh, so we arrived at half past five in the morning. We left at about half past seven. So we're there for just, literally just under two hours we were there for. Uh, we were waiting an hour before anyone even come over to us. And then it took an hour to, um, to offload the trailer. Now, when the forklifter took some of the pallets off, they actually collapsed. They, the banding broke. So um, we had to handball some of it. So that's one of the reasons why it took so long, but never mind. Anyway, we're out of there now. Uh, the sun is slowly starting to come up and we are heading to Pusey. So we're gonna go get loaded. So uh, yeah, let's crack on. See you in a bit. If you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry, but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase the Trucker's Handbook by Mark and Green. There is a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely round packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it, link is in the description down below. Okay, let the fun begin. <laughs> We're going down some country lanes now. Don't get stuck, Mr. Mini. Thank you. Yeah, this is the, uh, I've said before, this is the designated route in to where we got to get loaded. It's not the best route. It's all right at night because you can sort of see headlights coming the other way. So, um, you can like anticipate and prepare, but in the daytime, obviously, you go around corners, you've just got to be careful because there could be something coming the other way. But uh, yeah, this, this is the best part. <laughs> Gets worse. Lovely jubbly roads have widened up a little bit now and there's uh, there's no traffic currently. Just 
Just got one more bend to negotiate. And then, uh, and then it's the home straight. But the home straight's a single track road. <laughs> Obviously, tractors come down here as well all the time. You get big tractors with big trailers, beacons flashing. You'd struggle to get past a tractor. I've, that's, that's the thing, right? I've never come across a truck yet on these parts. I've only come across a truck on the single track, and I reverse back. Um, oh, and I've met a truck once on this bend, and that's it. It's the only times I've met a truck. You don't want to be meeting trucks back there where I've just been. That would be a pain. Right, let's go around this corner. Lovely jubbly. And there we go straight on, down there. You see on the right hand side there's another sign saying trucks. Bare left. Pure pastures. That's where we're going. So yeah, this is the designated truck route in. I keep saying it's the designated route, because it is. But you just don't think it is. It's the only way in. And then uh, to get back out, you go the way you come in. You'd think they'd have a one-way system in place, but apparently the locals further on down this road kick off. So we all got to come back out this way. But this is the other place I met a truck. And we couldn't pass here, so I, I actually reversed all the way back out onto the road. And then we just passed out there. Don't want to be meeting a truck right now lovely one last corner to negotiate that's more of a bend fantastic we're good we're in the clear go left here oh it looks like we have a truck that's got to be unloaded so we're gonna have to wait for that truck to be done and then we can be loaded afterwards. I think he's unstrapping. Yeah, he's unstrapping. So we just sit tight here for now. We'll undo the curtains, ready to go. And uh, then they can start loading me when they're ready. Fun and games. Looks like it's raining out there as well. Lovely. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a bit. Of, uh, loads of hay. I think I'm going to Morrison's. Class pets at home. I think, I think these orange ones are Morrison's. So yeah, that's where we're going. Can't quite see the packaging. Yeah, so uh Matey boy's nearly finished now, he's only got a few more pallets to come off. So we're going to jump. Oh, we've got a pet's own lorry behind us as well. So we're going to jump in the truck and we're going to move forward, ready to go. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, I've got, got another lorry right behind me as well. Just about to see him back in there, look. Right. Yeah, he's nearly done. Right, we're loaded. Uh, they're actually loading me in a different yard as well. This is the yard next door which uh, I've never been in before. So there's always a first for everything. Ugh. It's a bit wet out, a bit rainy, but never mind. Yeah, I really like the, uh, really like the dash cam up here. It's cool. It's good, it's good. Right, anyway. Uh, how long have we been here? We've been here for an hour. Give or take. Might have been more than that actually, because we've been moving around as well. We've been here a while. It's, <laughs> well, put it this way. I was told that the delivery that I'm doing now to Northampton is due at half past 10. Paperwork says it's due at 10 o'clock. And the time now is half past ten <laughs> so <laughs> we're, we're two hours away just over two hours away from where we need to be and it's due there now so 
it's a little bit late. It's a little bit late. Obviously, we've been held up this morning at the range. We were there for two hours. That we should have been in and out in an hour. And I've been held up here as well for an hour plus. So we obviously had to wait for the other lorry to be tipped. Uh, and then it took us a while to be loaded as well. So if we didn't have any hanging around at either place, then uh, we would have been on time. Why is my phone going off? <laughs> Not my phone, my watch. My watch is going, how was Pure Pastures? Yes, delightful, thank you. So uh, it's just one of those things in transport, you know, if you get held up at the first job, it obviously, you know, just goes on and on and on. You, you, it's hard to make that time back, if you know what I mean. And if you're held up at a second job as well, then you just lose even more time. So anyway, I'm not entirely sure. I think I think this is all we're doing for the day anyway, just driving this to, to Northampton and then unloading and then maybe back to the yard. I will confirm later, obviously, with the boss. We'll do what we've been told to do first, and then I can inquire what's next. Or I might text him later when I'm round the corner. Is that car coming down here? No, it's going straight on. So is that van, hopefully. We've got to give way to them. If you're coming down here, you need to indicate. Okay, you're in... Indicating to go that way, but you don't need to indicate to go that way. There is a car coming, but we've got loads of room. We shall go first. Now, with regards to fuel, we now have just over half a tank, so it, it is going down. We'll uh, I'll probably do this delivery and then probably fill up at um, Swindon truck stop on the way back. It's probably a good bet. At least then it's got a full tank for tomorrow. I don't know if anyone's driving tomorrow, but it just helps them out. And if no one does drive it tomorrow, then at least I then got a full tank for Wednesday. So, yeah. So for now, we just need to make our way out of here again. The single track roads. Once we get uh, sort of towards Pusey Way, yeah, the road opens up a little bit more then, so it's a bit better. There's a branch up there. put my glasses on not that I need them on but makes me look a little bit more intelligent <laughs> uh, there's a card one so don't forget uh, to follow me on Facebook Instagram all the social media handles um, I'm trying to get my Facebook over 10,000 followers it's been loitering at like 8,000 9,000 for a while and I think I'm at like 9,600 now on Facebook so 400 more people follow me on Facebook please get me over 10,000 that'd be great my Instagram's already above 10 but if you want to follow me on that as well that'd be good secretly hoping that once Facebook has 10,000 likes I'm hoping I mean it might not happen probably won't but I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping I can get that blue tick I want a blue tick <laughs> I want a blue tick to say I'm the real person the real Luke's here in HTV right where are you going mate uh, yeah you're going to have to pull in there you're going to have to go in a little bit further. Don't go too fast though, mate, because it's a bit bumpy. Tree on the left, car on the right. So yeah, feel free to follow me on Facebook. You haven't got to if you don't want to. But if you do, I do upload quite often on social media, Facebook and, uh, and Instagram. I also give heads up to when the videos are going live as well. So um, I don't always do that on YouTube. If you only follow me on YouTube, the only time you know a video has gone live is once it's gone live. Which might be fair enough, might be fine, that might be all you want, but I, uh, on social media like Facebook and Instagram, I let people know a little bit in advance that a video is dropping later on in the evening, or maybe I'll be like, there's a video coming out tomorrow. So yeah, up to you, I'm not gonna go on about it. If you want to, great, if not, don't worry about it. But would appreciate it if you do. Also, at the time of recording this video, which because today's a Monday, by the way, I don't think I've said. Have I said? I don't know. <laughs> um, at the time of uh, recording this video, I still haven't done a video about my new computer. I don't know if I will. It's good. You've seen it. It's good. It's, it's really good. I edited uh, Friday's video on it, and uh, it's so smooth. Like because obviously I know all the shortcuts and you know what buttons to press and all that and when i'm editing on my other computer the computer's playing catch up i mean it's sort of like catching up is a bit laggy it's not very smooth whereas with this new computer i um i was doing what i normally do 
and it wasn't playing catch up it, it was like whatever I wanted to do it was doing and it's fantastic I love it I love my new machine and a normal video would probably take like an hour to render and the last vlog was rendered fully in about 20 minutes so it's more than twice as quick as well which is what I want really and there's this game called uh, what's it called I think it's called BM Drive or BNG Drive or something like that anyway it's like a physics based game a car game and if you smash the car up it like it's like realistic physics and uh, I was I had that on ultra settings and maximum resolution maximum uh, graphical settings I could have and it just didn't lag once the <laughs> frames per second were well over 100 and it was just playing like really well so anyway that's enough about my computer but I love it <laughs> another car we shall go to the left thank you is it wrong that I really want someone to like honk their horn and have a go at me I just don't know why I just really want them to do it this is the the part which is no no I've just gone past the part which is unsuitable so this is the decent part <laughs> once we there's a river coming up and uh, once we get past the river it's pretty much okay from there on just go over this bridge over the river and then pretty much in the clear from then on lovely 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 right we're out of the uh, of the narrow parts we'll turn the beacons off now they don't need to be on we want to go left here there's a few narrow parts coming up but it's uh nothing as bad as what it is like back there you've got to squeeze past other vehicles whereas down here you can see other large vehicles coming you can pull over and it's it's all good it's all gravy baby right anyway two hours to northampton let's get our foot down we're going to go the a345 this road here take it all the way to the m4 get on the a419 we're going to come off at uh the a420 roundabout take the a420 past shivenham farringdon excuse me all past there join up to the um a34 around the oxford ring road and then from there we're going to jump onto the m40 come off at um share our valley services take the a43 i think it is yeah a43 all the way up to Northampton. That is the way we're going to go. Let's go back on with it. Right, we're on the A34. We appear, we appear to have a fire. <laughs> There's a house on fire. I see some, I see a fire brigade. Do my windows up. I don't want any of this smoke going. I can't see anything. Fog lights on. Can you see anything through the camera? Wow, they should close that road really. Well, we're through the smoke. I saw a fire engine. They've closed. Yeah, look, they closed it off there. Why haven't they closed this side? Well, I mean, I'm, actually, I'm glad I'm through. <laughs> I'm glad I'm through. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's crack on. You can close it now, please. You can close it now. Thank you. Uh, hopefully, everyone's all right. That's um, dreadful. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Everyone's all right. There was, I saw a couple of fire engines there. So, hopefully, they got it under control. Anyway, let's crack on. Uh, 45 more minutes left to go. See you in a bit. Okie dokie, we are in Northampton. Just coming off the A43 now. Lovely jubbly. Where's this van want to go? Can't go left, mate. I see his hand on the indicator. So you can't go left because I'm getting in the right lane. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are here. It's a lovely looking Mercedes. That's a nice colour green. I like that. We are here in Northampton. We are delivering to Morrisons. Uh, I've delivered here maybe three, four times now. The last time I delivered here, I actually vlogged as well. And uh, I drove up to the window and she told me to reverse back. And... Um, then walk back up to the to the window and then give them a reference. But I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. It's raining. I don't want to get wet. I'm driving up to the window. <laughs> the other three times, I think, well, maybe the other two times that I've uh, come here, I just drove, I just drove straight up to the window, give them my reference, and then they, they let me in. It seemed a bit pointless. Where's that map going? Straight on. Petter Home is there. I, I kind of hope we're going there because they're really quick to tip a Petter Home. Almost guaranteed to be out within an hour. 
but we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see. By the time we get in and parked up, I expect it's going to be like quarter to one. Can't imagine we'd be out within an hour in this place, but we'll see. We'll see if we're out by quarter to two, but don't think that's going to happen. And of course, I don't actually know what I'm doing from here either. I need to make a text or a phone call and find out what I'm doing from here, but I'll do that once I'm parked up and find out. It might be straight back to the yard, it might be to go get loaded for Wednesday, I do not know. Might have to go drop the trailer off somewhere. No idea. Bow, 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 bow. Mate. Yes, mate. Yeah, Lovely. Yeah. Park next to the orange one. I mean, I don't see an orange one. I see a green one. I see a yellow one and a purple one. <laughs> I don't see an orange one. Anyway, we'll just park around here a second and then we'll walk on up. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying that you've got to get out and walk over when you could just talk to them at the window. But um, it's because a lot of lorries turned up to the wrong place. So like the one that was here before, the container lorry, it's actually got to go to number two. Not to number one, which this one is. So, uh, yeah, you have to turn around. But I know this is the one I need to be at. That's what's frustrating. It's a waste of time. Good exercise, I suppose, but a waste of time nonetheless. Oh, giggity, it worked. It's never not worked, to be honest, at this place. But the way he said, if it doesn't work, press the intercon. He was going on about it. Like, if it, if it didn't work. <laughs> but like I said, it's never not worked. Anyway, good news is, we are... I wouldn't say the only one here, but we are... There's no queue, look, to be tipped. So we um, should be straight on the bay, pretty much. Oh, there's no one on the bay at all, look. Someone gonna wave me over now? Come on, mate, wave me over. Yeah, he's waving me over. Lovely, straight on the bay. Bay number four. on back. I'm just waiting for him to tell me to stop. There we go. Good. Lovely. Right. Let's go get these curtains open. See you in a bit. Straight on a bay. Straight away getting unloaded. Exactly what I'd like to see. Uh, I've taken all the internals off. Curtains are drawn ready to go. And uh, I'll just show you the other side. There we go. So that's all of them this side as well. So once it's all been taken off, we just head on over there, park up, get our paperwork, and then we can carry on with the day. Hi there. Thank you, Thank you very much. Bye. Cheers. Wow, that was very, very quick. Very quick. Right. Let's take that off. Right, okay, we've got a paperwork. We're good to go. How far is it back? Uh, go on 210, 150 left. So, should get back on four hours driving, so we shouldn't need a break. But I just want to check traffic because obviously that A34 was shut earlier. So I want to see whether it's still shut. I've got to turn on personal hotspot on the phone so my uh, sat-nav will connect to the traffic system. 
Is there anything about this TomTom? -tom? I do like it, but it's really annoying that you've got to connect it to your phone for the traffic updates. Previous versions, you never had to do that. Apparently, they are releasing another one later this year, apparently, where the SIM card's built in. Hopefully, they can send me one, because I would really like... TomTom, if you're listening, please send me a TomTom uh, Tom -tom with a built-in SIM card. I would love that. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, what are we doing? Right, maps. Du, 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 du. A34. Where are you? There you are. The M4 is still shut. A34. Doesn't. It's not showing any traffic on the A34. We might be good. Sat nav's updated now as well, and there is some traffic there. We've got one little traffic mark, which is. It's the A34 roundabout off the M40. So that would just be traffic lights. So. So I think we are good to go. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Engine on. We've got to put this code in again on the way out. Nice and wide. Lovely. There we go. It should be arising. Okay, it's not arising. Didn't I say earlier that I've never had any problems? Okay, now it's rising. Just press one, <laughs> which is the start of my code, and then it just risen. Lovely, right? Let's do that window up. So we are actually done for the day now. Uh, all we got to do is head straight back to the yard, um, and we'll be there for three o'clock. But I, uh, I'm going to fill it with some fuel at Swindon Truck Stop because we've got just under half a tank. So we can put some fuel in, ready for when I'm next in the truck. Uh, we've got to go back to the yard, drop the trailer, and also I'm going to get some Ablu because we're just over half a tank of Ablu as well, which will easily last till Friday. But um, just top it up in it while I'm there, might as well. So once all that's done, drop the trailer, get fuel, get Ablu, probably be about four o'clock. Um, so that's when I'm finishing today, so quite early. Where's that bike going? You're indicating left. So yeah, lovely jubbly, and tomorrow apparently uh, this truck's getting new brakes put in, or put on rather, so no one is in it uh, tomorrow while I'm off. Well, come on lorry driver, keep going. Dawdling past the other truck there, lovely. Anyway, let's crack on to Swindon, we're going to uh, go back the same way, so A43 past Silverstone, onto the M40, A34, A420. And then we get onto the A419 after we filled it with fuel. So that's the plan. That's the route. I'll see you probably at Swindon Truck Stop. See you in a bit. Right, we've just filled it with fuel. I've uh, just stopped here a second just to send a text. Excellent. Right, we're good to go. So, yeah, we've got to hold up a little bit of traffic um, on the 420. But... Um, Never mind. Yeah, we can make that. Uh, but we're in Swindon now. We're only uh, 16 minutes away, according to that now. So, it, yeah, by the time 20 to 4, we're going to be in the yard. Uh, like I said, I've got fuel now. All I need to do is unhitch the trailer and then fill it with Ablu. So, it should still be done for about 4 o'clock. So, um, yeah, luckily they tipped us quite quickly. Um, at Morrison's, which is good. Downside is it's now starting to get dark, so better turn that on, aren't I? Um, yeah, by the time I finish work, I think it will be dark. <laughs> I've noticed it's a reoccurring theme that I've been saying recently in my videos. Like, oh, it should be finished before it's dark, or it'll be light when you see me next. But that's because, like, it's just dark nights and stuff now, isn't it? So, um, it's just something to say. <laughs> Right, we're going to go left here. Won't be long before we can go right round and get back on the uh, A419 from there, but for now, we've got to go this way. 
lovely Dudley. Driving time wise, we're on 3.47, so we've got an hour and uh, 13 minutes left. No, no, that's well wrong. 3.45, it doesn't matter. 3, 3.45 would mean I've got 45 minutes left. <laughs> so we've got about 42 minutes left now. Yeah, yeah, 42. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be back in the yard like 10 minutes, so 15 minutes rather. So we've got plenty of driving time. We ain't got to worry about that. We've got to worry about getting out onto this road, mind you. There we go. Thank you, mate. You moved over for me. Flash him in. Excellent. So that is probably going to be it for today's video. Um because you've seen me drop a trailer before, so this will probably be it. I think it's a little one today, little video. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. I might release it sort of midweek. We'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Thank you for the very good feedback regarding the uh, the mount up there. Do appreciate it. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you want more up-to-date information on what I'm doing, where I'm going, blah, blah, blah. Would appreciate it if you do go and follow me on those social medias thanks for watching until next time drive safe stay safe i will see you soon bye bye